Okay, this one says you are given 2.5384 gram sample of the Epsom salt that you have just analyzed, so this thing here, and an unknown quantity of an inert material. So there's a bunch of stuff in this um, sample. Some of it doesn't react, meaning inert, okay? But some of it does, as you well know, the mag sulfate does, okay? The magnesium sulfate pentahydrate does. Um, following heating of the sample, the mass has, or the sample has a mass of 2.2176 grams. What is the mass percent of Epsom salt present in the sample? Okay? So it gives us a couple of numbers. It says the mass total is 2.5384 grams. And then the mass after heating right, um, is going to be 2.2176 grams. Okay, so from these numbers, what can we get? What should we be able to figure out? Mass of the inert material? Not yet, okay. Eventually, we'll be able to do that. But just from these two numbers. Can you figure out how much the rest of the sample weighs that doesn't have water? So what is the difference here? What is the difference? What have we lost here? The water and the water. The water. So what can we get out of these numbers? The water. Mass of the water, right? The mass of the water. Is everybody okay with that? Okay. So what would the mass of the water be? I'm sure that's what you would have put, right? should we be able to figure out? So remember, we're looking for the mass percent of the mag sulfate pentahydrate. Look there, it's not, it's not written on my face. So then you take the mass of all of the whole... Thing. So let's figure out the number of moles of mag sulfate pentahydrate. How will we do that? Probably add the... Uh, times water five times and then figure out the mass weight of How do we figure out the moles of mag sulfate pentahydrate? Guys, we went over this for the last yes. hour. We add up the whole atomic weight. <laughs> so we, what is, you, you know there's five water in there. So that means you have multiply the moles of water by five. So what is that thing called? Conversion factor. Where do you get that conversion factor from? Look up there. It's not written on my face. The chemical equation, right? So what would the, the conversion factor be? What are the units of it? Just said it. Tell me, guys. 
Moles to moles, right? Moles to moles. What do you get from the chemical equation? Moles to moles. What, is, what, have, what, what are the units you get from the chemical equation, guys? Moles to moles. Do you get any unit, other units from the chemical equation? No. So why should you tell me anything else? Or not tell me anything, okay? Only one unit you get from the chemical equation. One time, again, I'm going to tell you, okay? Probably tell you ten more times, okay? What unit do you get from the chemical equation? Moles. Moles. Okay, so what do I have down here? What units do I have down there? Moles. Moles, right? So if I have moles of water and I want moles of max sulfate pentahydrate, how do I figure that out? Use the chemical equation to get the conversion factor, right? And what would that conversion factor be? Don't worry, we won't post this one. Okay, what would that conversion factor be? What do we got to cancel out? How about that? Let's start there. We've got to cancel the moles of water. We've got to cancel out the moles of water, okay? So moles of water is going to be on the bottom, right? So how many moles of water do we have in the chemical equation? Five. And the mag sulfate pentahydrate? One. Does that give us the moles of mag sulfate pentahydrate? Yeah. So how do I get it from the chemical equation? Okay? You guys got to remember this stuff. You've got to remember. It's super duper important. Okay? There's only two things that we have learned today. The conversion factor that is molar mass and the conversion factor that is from the chemical equation. If you can't do those two things, you need to work on them. Okay? Molar mass converts grams to moles. Chemical equation converts moles to moles. Okay? And just because somebody else doesn't know how to do it, doesn't mean you don't know how to do it. Okay? There's a lot of chemistry haters out there. Okay? So if you're sitting next to a chemistry hater who's hating, you know, don't listen. Cancel that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to get through this stuff. It's true. I know it sounds hilarious, you know, but. It's true, people hate, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to do that, or if somebody next to you is doing that, tell them to cancel that stuff. You know, you can't hear that. You gotta get through this stuff. There's only two things you learn. I know you can do this. So. Divide this by five, and we get this number. So, we want mass percent. Is that mass percent there? No. So, what do we have to get from the moles? To eventually get mass percent. Well, we've got to get the mass, right? The mass. So, what do, what do we know, what conversion factor do we know that gives the mass from the moles? Whatever, yeah, what is it called? The molar mass, right? The molar mass, right? I know it's difficult to remember two things, but you guys got it in your head to remember two things, okay? Molar mass chemical equation. So, I calculated this one earlier. <coughs> what is it, 210 or something like that? 21047. So, what's on the bottom here? Moles or grams? Moles, right? So, 210, 47 grams, right? One mole, MgSO4, 5H2O. Did that give me grams? Yes. Yeah? So, just multiply that by 210.47. 0 0.7493 grams. Okay? Is that mass percent? No. No. That's just the mass of mag sulfate, pentahydrate. It wants the mag, 
the mass of the what? The mass or the percent of the entire samples. What was the weight of the entire sample? Yep, yeah, 2.5384. So how do I get the mass percent, guys? Help me out. Yeah, what, what's number is on top? Yeah. Very good. You guys are good at that step. And then I think it's like, what, 29.52? Sanson. Okay, so it's just a series of steps. I know it seems like a lot, okay? But it's just these two things, just over and over and over again, okay? You're using one, then you're using the other. Then you're using the one, then you're using the other, okay? So this is exactly how to do the other two problems on the um, pre-lab. You just substitute instead of water for um, carbon dioxide in one, and instead of mag sulfate, you use copper 2 sulfate in the other.